Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. It's good to have you once again, all the returning guests and all the new guests. Thank you. Thank you so much. You coming here means quite a lot, quite a lot to me. And uh, if you have watched videos previously and you're watching this one and you like it, you feel it is helpful and, and you know, uh, kindly subscribe, like and uh, leave a comment. It will mean so much to me. Now, uh, today's topic is um, a woman's strongest unspoken message. Okay, A woman's strongest message is unspoken. Like she speaks her strongest message without uttering a word. She speaks that message when she's quiet. Why are the five, what are the five reasons that will lead a woman to be quiet in this world? And we are going to make specific uh, focus on marriage, in a marriage relationship. Those of you who are dating, those of you who are married, and uh, then all of a sudden she keeps quiet. Now, before we go into this, and make sure you don't miss out number five. I'm giving out five, five reasons why women may keep quiet. Don't miss out number five. It is the most important. Now, when a woman is quiet, she is so vulnerable. She's vulnerable to anger. She's vulnerable to depression. She's vulnerable to fear. She's vulnerable to stress. And she's vulnerable to diseases. Now, it would be a very unkind man who would push her kind of whether her lady to that position of being vulnerable. You would be very unkind. And my dear lady, if you're just keeping quiet because um, you just want to keep quiet and, and you know it makes people lose their peace, I pray that you will come from that position and, you know, make a compromise. A gentleman, don't make your woman to be quiet, but lady, if you're quiet and uh, you feel it's hurting, it's hurting you and it's hurting your spouse, please come out of that position. Okay, so what are the things that um, make women to keep quiet, to go into that vulnerable position? We are looking at five things. Um, don't miss out on number five. I will grade them like that so that you, everyone, including me, you figure out where you fit. Okay, I'll take my cup of herbal tea. My herbal tea, I like it at this time of the day. Okay, a woman will keep quiet when she is tired. She gets so tired and um, she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. Her emotions are tired of having that pendulum. You know, you're moving her from here, then you swing her to the other side, then you swing her to this side. Her heart is so tired. She doesn't want to talk again. She doesn't want, you know, she doesn't have the energy to go into that. Now, putting her into such a pendulum of emotions and you expect her to react and give you satisfaction by getting angry or shouting or what, she will keep quiet. And when she keeps quiet, man, oh man, be afraid of a woman's quietness because so many voices will speak to her. And you would not want a fearful message, a depressed message, a scared message to minister to her at that time. Number two, she's protecting herself from attacking you. So don't think she's quiet and she's a coward. No, she's protecting herself. She doesn't want to attack you. And so don't provoke her father. She doesn't want to regret the words she could speak she opened up to you. So save yourself the trouble and leave her in that quiet mode. A woman will also keep quiet when she feels she is too depressed and um, she needs that quiet moment to heal. And so when she takes that quiet moment to heal, you know, she's, she, she's asked, she's quiet, she, she just doesn't want you around her. And so many things are running through her mind. Allow her that time to heal. 
don't push her further. Allow her to heal, and when she's ready, she'll come back and talk to you. Uh, number four, a woman will keep quiet when she's thinking about the situation, the scenario that has just happened. Sometimes she can be in such a big shock. She doesn't expect you to have done that. She doesn't expect you to have said what you said. And why she's trying to, to make a sense of everything that you have spoken and she doesn't want to sink into a mental breakdown. I mean, she is too hurt. She is grieving in her heart. Her tears are flowing inside. Give her that space to think. She needs the time. She needs to think. She is so depressed. She is so discouraged. She is so fearful. She is so angry. Give her the time to think. Give her the time to think. And now number five. Why a woman would keep quiet? If she has been talking, you talk, she talks back. She tries to explain. She argues. She brings evidence from here and there. And she's trying to convince you that she's innocent. And you're not listening. Or she's trying to make a cry, a loud cry, telling you this and the other. You are choosing her of this. You're blaming her for this. You're body shaming her. And she is so tired. When she keeps quiet, it is a very strong message telling you that she's done with you. She's done with you. She doesn't want you anymore. She doesn't want more trouble from you. She is done. She wants a break and she wants to be by herself. Maybe she even wants to walk out of the home. Maybe she wants um, to, to go back to, to, you know, just to be away from you. Now, during that time, She's tired. She's, I think it is wise that um, you keep your peace. Keep your peace. Get an intermediary. Let someone else talk to her, but not you. Let another person talk to her. Talk to her best friend who is very close to her. Talk to her parents. Talk to a trusted friend that you may both have in common. And let another person talk to her. But when a woman is done and she's tired of you, Anything you try to do after that, it will attract more hate. And so I pray that we'll learn from this video and know when to talk. We know when to keep quiet. We know when to give space. We know when to hang around. We know what not to do and what to do. And by the special grace of God, we will build our marriages. We will be better people. We will, you know, grow from one level to another for the glory of God. Now, if this video is helpful, if you find the information therein good, I, I will ask you to remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed before. If you are new, kind of subscribe. If you have been here before and you have sub subscribed, don't subscribe again. If you have been here and you have not subscribed, please subscribe, uh, like, and give a comment. Let me know you've been there. Let me know your thoughts about these videos. Uh, to the glory of God. Thank you very much. See you one more, uh, another time. God bless you.